But if you have a look at Lusaka, there's very little in the way of, of these kinds of plans yet, uh, yet visible. So it's, it's obviously very difficult to generalize about what is driving uh, this scramble for African land. Other than obviously the uh, willing engagement of senior government officials and politicians, because without that, these projects really are, are not possible. I've made mention of the growing uh, middle class, which clearly fuels demand for urban land and development projects and architectural styles that you, might be considered aspirational or modern. But even Deloitte's are cautious about the definition of this growing African urban middle class. The African Development Bank defines the middle class as those spending between two US dollars and 20 US dollars a day, okay? And the upper middle class as those spending between 10 and 20 US dollars a day. Now, that is, that is minute. And it may be that these property developers are simply seriously misreading the African market.